Welcome back to another edition of Seahawks Central Sports. We're here with updates as we draw near to the end of regular season play for many of our fall sports. Today we will cover your men's and women's soccer teams, tennis, cross country, and women's volleyball. Let's get to it. The Volley Hawks had to go on the road this past weekend, traveling to Elon University and William & Mary, hoping to fight their way to the sixth and final spot in the CAA tournament. Friday's match against Elon was a great momentum booster as the girls beat the Phoenix in four sets, led by junior Jamie Thomas and senior Madison Peters with a combined 27 kills, Thomas tying her career high with 14. Senior, senior Kendall Bender's eight blocks moved her into seventh place on UNCW's career list with 365. Sunday, the Volleyhawks took it to four sets with the William & Mary Tribe, finishing a weekend road sweep for the first time this season. Three of our girls, Bender, Peterson, and Thomas, finished in double-figure kills, with sophomore Rebecca Nunez adding a career-high nine kills and match-high seven blocks. UNCW setters Bryn Montgomery and Claire Sawyer posted double-doubles to add to the effort. The win pushed the Volleyhawks to that sixth-place tournament berth, tied with Delaware. Sitting at 14-11 overall and 4-8 and in the conference, the Volleyhawks will finish the season with four home games, beginning with Northeastern on November 7th. Good luck, girls. The men's swim team spent the weekend in Virginia for the CAA pod meet, along with familiar foes in Delaware and William & Mary. Day one of the meet saw a freshman Cole Bean Jugon as the team's highlight by winning the, both the one and the three meter boards in the diving competitions. As for swimming, senior Jack Cosgrove delivered a first place finish in the 200 freestyle and Seahawks swimmers took first and second place in the 100 meter breaststroke thanks to juniors John Michael D'Alessandro and J Josh Rigby respectively. Senior Will County rounds out day one with a second place finish in the 100 backstroke. Day two saw the two second place finishers from day one, Will County and Josh Rigby, come in first place in the 200 backstroke and the 200 breaststroke respectively. UNCW also won the second place finish in the 200 backstroke thanks to sophomore Brent Hosshall. UNCW ended the meet splitting with their opponents, beating Delaware but falling to William & Mary. The women's swim team were also at the CAA pod meet, but they did not have the same fortune as the men's team as they were swept by the field, James Madison, William & Mary, and Delaware. The highlight of the meet would go to senior Abby Hawks, who earned a second place finish in the 100 backstroke on day one, while junior Evan Arsenal earned a third place finish on the 100 freestyle on day two. The swim teams will be back in action later this month as they will head back up to Virginia, this time for the Patriot Invitational on the 21st to the 23rd. Men's soccer finished up their regular season play this past week with games against Virginia Commonwealth University and Elon. The Hawks first traveled north on Tuesday, October 29th to shut out the VCU Rams 3-0. Senior Wilhelm Nielsen scored the first goal of the game during the 14th minute of play, assisted by Gabriel Cabral and Philip Goodrum. Goodrum would then boost the Hawks with two insurance goals in the 84th and 87 minutes of play. Goodrum's two-goal game made him UNCW's fifth player in our school's history to reach 30 or more career goals. Men's soccer then came back home on Saturday, November 2nd, to keep their streak alive. With a close win over Elon University, 1-0. Both teams kept each other at bay, and UNCW just couldn't seem to find the goal in 10 shots on goal in regulation. The Hawks went in double overtime with the Phoenix and would score their only goal from a penalty kick from F Philip Goodrum, his first PK goal of his career. Gabriel Perota held down UNCW's goal, recording three saves on the night. Men's soccer improved their record to 11-4-2 overall, winning the CAA regular season title, booting Elon out of the CAA tournament with that win. The boys look forward to the CAA championships starting on November 8th. As for women's soccer, they concluded their season with a loss in the quarterfinals of the CAA championships against James Madison University. Morgan Nanny struck early for UNCW, scoring a goal in the 16th minute of play. The Hawks would score again in the goal from Audrey Harding, but it wasn't enough to answer the Dukes. JMU advanced in the tournament with a 3-2 win. Women's soccer finished their season with a record of 10, 6, and 1 overall, allowing just 18 goals all season, tying the record for the lowest number of goals allowed in over a decade. Both men's and women's cross-country teams competed in the Colonial Athletic Association Cross-Country Championship at the historic New Market Battlefield in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Junior Evan Jones finished 12th place with 25 minutes and 31 seconds. He also won all CAA honors. However, 
the Seahawks still ended up finishing sixth place out of six teams with a score of 135, and William Mary finishing first with a total of 27 points. On the women's side, the Seahawks finished ninth out of nine teams in the championship with a score of 242, and Elon University took home the crown with a score of 41, finishing in the first place. Summer Owens was the UNCW's top finisher for the fifth time this season. She recorded her time at 22 minutes and 26 seconds, finishing 45th place in the 6K race. Men's tennis hosted the UNCW Fall Tournament, their final fall event on the season. UNCW finished 6-3 and three in singles and 2-0 and oh in doubles. Bruno Calla held the top seed for the singles the entire weekend and paired with Daniel Groom to compete in the doubles and face teams such as Morgan State, UNC Greensboro, and George Washington. Davida Innocente and Michael Morphy also showed out on the weekend, both coming away from the weekend with a perfect 6-0. and oh. Morphy and Michael Copeland also didn't lose a doubles match all weekend when paired together. Good job, boys. Also, women's tennis hosted teams for their Invitational over the weekend, and junior Sarah Horn showed out in the singles surf flight for the Hawks. She defeated players from Morgan State University and Campbell to claim the title. Also representing well for the Seahawks were Anna Daniels and Lauren Robbins, who were paired together for the round robin style wave doubles flight. The UNCW Fall Tournament was men's and women's last bout before breaking for fall. Be sure to tune in next semester for more tennis updates. You're all caught up on UNCW athletics for this week. Be sure to tune in next Friday for more updates on how our fall sports teams are doing on our Facebook and YouTube pages at UNCW Teal TV. You can keep up to date with UNCW Athletics with our Twitter page at Teal TV underscore sports as well as our new Instagram page. Until next time, remember to be real and keep it teal.